What's up, everybody? Welcome to a special edition of Third and Longhorn. We have a very distinguished guest today. He was actually just named by The Athletic as first team freshman All-American, Mr. Anthony Hill Jr. Welcome, Anthony. Come on, man. Come on, man. All American. <laughs> I know. I know. We're all really excited to have you in the studio, man. It's uh, it's 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 good to have you in. And I think there's uh, a lot of people have a lot of questions for you, so I'm gonna open it up to the floor. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Who wants uh, to jump in? All right. I guess I'm going first. It's on you. Uh, oh, this. Uh, I guess I'm going first. Uh, you know what? This is a special team. Obviously, yeah. it's the best team Texas had in a really long time. Um, in your opinion, what makes the team so special? What sets it apart? I feel like we're all a family. That's what just makes us different. Like, we always hang with each other outside of the facility. Mm-hmm. So I feel like we just got a, a special bond with each other. That's what's up. It's big. Culture, right? Yeah. Yep. Family, baby. Love that. So I would say um, early playing time yeah. is, is not easy to come by, especially at a big program, especially at Texas. You've managed to not only find yourself on the field, but like early on from Bama. Bama was probably the first one I yeah. seen. Honestly, you rushed too wide once and got pushed <laughs> up the field. Quarterback <laughs> scrambled underneath that and he got a couple yards. And then what I love about that is a few plays later, you came, rush discipline, pushed the pocket, closed it, and then boom, we get the sack. And I'm like, man, that's a that's how you take what they give you on the sideline and put it on the field. How have you been able to I guess, shorten that learning curve this freshman year to continue to make plays all the way on to All-American status? Um, I feel like coming in in January helped that a lot because I got like winter, spring, summer just to learn the plays and just get better with my footwork and all the little stuff that mm-hmm. was needed to come in and play. But I also feel like it was a lot of discipline and preparation to just get ready for the season and just throughout the season try to get better throughout the weeks. But I mean, but but you eight, you're eighteen, right? Yeah. Eighteen or nineteen? Eighteen. Yeah, and a lot of people, a lot of people don't know this. He was seventeen when he reported on campus. So how you? I mean, yeah. you managing that? while I, did you even know where your classes were when you first? Like no, that's what I'm yes. saying. Like how you how you managing all of that? I just learned as I go. You yeah. just I'm just going and going and going. Eventually, you just gonna find the right spot and you just gonna stay there. Got you. Got yeah, you. Man. Uh, man, you know what? Um, I'm I'm really proud of you, man. Thank uh, you. I've been up there and I've been in the meeting rooms with you, been on the field with you. And uh, I got to tell y'all, Ant Ant, Hmm. Ant is cut from a different cloth. Ant is, um, he has a presence like the Corey Redden present, the uh, Brian Mm. Rack Pro present. Mm. That this is good in a couple of years, probably in a year from now, he's that guy where others around him, uh, um, they're gonna have to pick up their stuff because they don't. They don't. They're not gonna want to deal with them. Yeah. You know. You, I know exactly. What yeah, you, mean. you know exactly what I'm talking. They're not gonna want to deal with them. So, guys like this, um, 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 they don't come around much. So appreciate that part of the game. But what makes you tick? Because you're a guy that uh, um, wakes up with a chip on your shoulder. You, you know, all American defensive. Freshman, both of us. That's freshman. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah, both of us. Yeah, what, I what year that was your one. freshman year? Yeah. Uh, back then. Yeah, old man, feel bad about it. Old man. We had to knock him down. But, but I just want to know, like, you get all this love and all this yeah. praise. I know my answer, I would say, but what's what, what, what why doesn't that get to your head? Why are you still waking up with a chip on your shoulder? I feel like just my parents raised me the right way. My dad, like he always, even when I was a kid, I was of course pretty good. Like he always kind of not like never cared, but he always made sure that it's like, this is not just, this is going to be it for you. So I feel like my parents and uh, like my little brother, they always kind of just treated me the same. So I feel like it's no different for me. It's just a part of this chapter. And hopefully I just got more stuff coming in. So I don't want to get too big headed when I got bigger stuff coming for me. Man, you got a lot of, I mean, I'm just telling you, man, I've seen a lot. And you, you different, man. And I know that's not, I can tell you that because that's not going to go to your head because he's a guy that he he's a perfectionist. He wants to get it right, which that's going to um, pay big dividends down the road. So, uh, man, congratulations Thank on you. everything, bro. Hold yeah. on. Hey, oh, speak hold on. What, what did you, what have you learned now that I got in me? I want to. <laughs> Just take it away. You take it away. There's no one more qualified. So. I'm gonna come to this. Yeah, exactly. Hey, this is all famous, so, what so, you gonna so before we get into the you know um, college playoffs, what have you learned? Because you know, don't get me wrong. You you've done really really good. Yeah. Like some people like really surprised. I'm not surprised because I see the work you put in. What have you learned through this season, this freshman year? I learned to enjoy the off season. That's what I learned. <laughs> <laughs> 
learned. Yeah, that's but, real. I love that. But, yeah. but that's during true. the season, yeah. I just throughout the season, I kind of learned how to study feel better and like throughout the games, I kind of learned how to pick up on different tendencies from from the players and just kind of. Just pick up signals from the quarterback. That's what I, probably what I learned the most out the season. Nice. Studio another game. Too. I ain't gonna that, that study film part, I think people don't realize, like unless you're from a high school program, that's like yeah. one of the premier mm-hmm. high school programs. Yeah. You come into college you not just, knowing how mm-hmm. to study film. I remember, I can't speak for everybody else, but I remember early on for me, you sitting in that film room 6 a.m. Yeah. in the morning. I really don't know what I'm looking for. I, I'm, I'm watching replays and cut-ups yeah. of practice mm-hmm. and games. I get that. Mm-hmm. But it's like, what am I looking for to make my game better? And so learning how to study film early, I think, I mean, obviously we see some of how that helps the game and, and the result we get from it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. I guess my question for you, let's kind of get into scheme a little bit. Yeah. Because when I watch you play, I think you provide an element on the edge that we don't have on the D-line. Um, and I know it's a loaded room. I, me personally, selfishly, I wish you would get a little, a few more rushes on the edge than you're getting right now. <laughs> How do you feel about that? Would you like more reps? Are you content where you at? Like, what, what's your opinion on that? Uh, I just feel like the coaches just know what they're doing, so I kind of just trust them, and I feel like they kind of wanted to rush me down the middle a little bit more throughout the season mm-hmm. and just try to try to work me on the edge whenever they can. But so I just kind of just just enjoying my role right now. I ain't really too worried about. Just get more reps on the edge or worry about that. I'm just trying to get, you know, what the team needs and the best for them. No, I like that. Um, and I think the coaches are doing a good job of not putting too much on your plate. Yeah. I'm just looking ahead. I'm seeing guys like Michael Parsons, like yeah. athletes mm-hmm. like that, and they're they getting bags. Like, they, yeah. there's money on the edge. <laughs> yeah, there's money on the edge. So is it like, always about the money, yo? <laughs> a lot of times it is. When you're putting, when you're putting your body on the line, it is. Man. So, but um, I'll say this, man. I love your game, and Keep doing what you're doing. Explore that edge, though. Explore yeah. that edge. You got a you got a bright future on there. So, yeah. so would you consider yourself? I mean, linebacker, edge, or hybrid, or at this point, might say football player. Yeah, football. Yeah. 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 football that's, a, player. that's a great answer because I, I got a follow up question. Yeah, because because I know your dad. Yeah, <laughs> and I know your dad didn't always Uh-oh. want you to play on defense. Yeah, you want to tell him. What your real position was oh, in the beginning? Please don't. I've been, I was a running back. Hey, that's what you hear. What you saying? I feel like I feel like to play to play linebacker yep. or to play running back, you got to play either one. Listen, so you listen. know what you're looking for. So the man. athlete that we Ooh, like today answer. started <laughs> out <laughs> as a running back. Okay, so it goes back to what I told you, gentlemen. The running back's the best athlete from the field. <laughs> Here we go. I will say Michael Parsons did play running back in high school. Yeah, yeah. 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 listen, yeah. listen yeah. guys. I didn't make the rules. <laughs> yeah. I didn't make the rules. Thank you, Aunt. Hey, I got I got a question. Yeah. Might be more of an inside thing. So I I saw that after the season was over. You guys were throwing out the F around and find out. Yeah. So we got in the locker room. Yeah. Um, how long is that? was that a thing in the locker room? Was that from the jump? Or was that something that came up a little bit later on that you guys had that kind of mentality? Yeah, um, it actually came from Kevin Carroll and Fall Kemp. Like he, huh. he came and talked to us. He kind of gave us like a kind of created. Came, oh, okay. It kind of became like our identity. Huh. So yeah. he kind of came in and fixed that. We just kind of rolled with it. And I feel like. I feel like it's been going good for us. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like it is. Too. <laughs> that chip, that's that chip y'all were talking I about. I said he found out. No doubt yeah. about it. Well, I got, I got a question for you. Like yeah. I mentioned, I, like, I, I thought it was so impressive that you came in here, you enrolled, you were 17. Like yeah. that is, I mean, that is so young when you think about it. And so I got a couple of questions. First question, did you go back to high school prom? Oh, I went back to okay, prom. Okay, yeah, yeah. That's what, were you the big man on campus going back to... Uh, like this, this crazy because the same way, like it's just they just see me as like normal people. There, of course, it's like some people that's like, oh, he's aunt, but it's like everybody just see me as aunt since I've been there since I was a freshman. So a I just kind of know everybody. That's the career. That's the career. Yeah, yeah. It's like, yeah. It's they, they know they've yeah. known you for for so it's long. More chill. Yeah. Of course, like maybe like some of the guys or like the like freshmen sophomores that wasn't there when I was when I was a freshman sophomore, but. Most of the part, everybody I was there from like my sophomore, junior, senior year, they all just see me as just, just like. I'm gonna tell you when it's gonna change and get to leave. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you're gonna yeah. come back and it's, you're gonna be like everybody coming by the house. Yeah, <laughs> well, yeah. Well, you know, I think I mean a lot of us know a, a bunch of the guys on the team, and I think like for you, obviously it helps having people there to help like to help you adjust and yeah. help get to know things. Who were who were those people for you at, at, in the program that that helped with that? Uh, like like J Four, Austin Jordan, Jatavia, and some of the guys I went to like high school with because it was kind of easier for me to talk to them. So 
So it was just an easy transition because I'm used to being around them. So I kind of just been like, okay, I'm going with you. Yeah. Like that's you made it easy. How many of y'all went to high school together? I went to high school with Austin and JT, but I played 707 with like Savion. I played with, um, who was it I played with? Like Xavier and Bryce. So yeah. I played, I've been know, like before I got here, I already knew like 25 people on the team. Oh, yeah. yeah. So that, I mean, that goes back to yeah. what you were talking about earlier. Like we hang out off the field. Yeah. You know, like them relationships yeah. have been there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I didn't know that. I didn't w- know. Was there like a, a, like having that, was there a, was there an additional comfort for you? Because I think it's, Look, it's it's rare for a freshman to come in and play, yeah. and you not only played, you contributed and were a big part of this team. And so, what 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 do you think helped help with that? Like, was it that comfort of knowing people and, and just feeling good in your shoes there? I feel like for me, what it was is being able to mess up early. So mm-hmm. I kind of already knew, like, okay, I can't do that. So just coming in early and being able to mess up and just kind of helped me a lot because I knew what I couldn't do and what I could do. Yeah. That's huge. That's huge, man. Yeah. Being that, able, that being able to have that platform where coaches like, man, go mess up, go yeah. do what you do. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Let's figure out, you know, where where we can coach you up. And he's mm-hmm. coachable guy. So, and really, what you see sometimes, I've seen it before. I'm sure you guys can relate. Is a talented guy comes in, but he's so terrified of messing up mm-hmm. that his game start getting robotic. Yeah, mm-hmm. I've seen that. It's yeah. like, and, and, yeah. and it's, I've seen it go two ways. Where it's like. You know, they, they actually, the coaches bring them, kind of put their arm around them and get them out of that. Now he's just playing ball again. Yeah. And I've seen guys never recover. Yeah. And it's like, that guy's a full-on robot. Like, he, he going to do the way that, that it's supposed to be taught in the book. Yeah. You, you yeah. know what I mean? And sometimes so. it can be coaching-wise yeah. where it, that the player doesn't develop like he needs to just because they're scared or the coach is hard on him. He's like, oh, I don't want to do this. Yeah, and, exactly. and sometimes coaches, you know, the really, really, he has a really, really good linebacker yeah. coach and Coach Cho yeah. saying, hey, I'm going to coach you up. I'm going to be hard on you. Go, it. play, go, man. I love that. Yeah, and let me ask you about that, uh, about Coach Cho. Yeah. He's obviously excelled because you guys are balling out, yeah. development's there, um, and he's been recognized because he's getting the head coaching gig. Yeah. Uh, what makes him a great coach in your mind? Uh, he's a player first. Like he don't like he don't even care about football all the way. He wants to talk to you as like a as like a person first. So it's like when you have troubles in football, it's just like it's just like whatever to him. We can fix that, but mm-hmm. it's more about just being being good as like a person before you worry about football. Like a lot of our meetings, like it don't even be about like. Of course, we talk about football, but mm-hmm. we just be talking about life and just he be there. So yeah, yeah, yeah. it's more it's I'm more chill. You, it's like it's like wow. our meeting room more like a. It's like just like a It's a safe space Yeah it's like a safe space We just yeah. we just in there chilling Like everybody Maybe socks off Kick yeah. back Everybody chilling Nah 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 I know all y'all Like that y'all socks <laughs> Nah man It's like It's like a, it's nah, like a nah, metaphor nah, nah. Alright cool It's a metaphor <laughs> Not <laughs> literal socks Not literal I'll tell you I'll tell you That's that super you know, that's, <laughs> that's, that's special yeah. And I've been around Ball a long time uh, And these three men Can tell you the same Like you don't get that Everywhere Yeah, yeah. You don't get that Everywhere Ooh. That's special It's real special Great Yeah I got another question for you. So previous weeks, I've been on tape saying that y'all kind of had to learn how to close teams out and y'all yeah. weren't there yet. I specifically said that we have to get better at closing the door yeah. on teams. I feel like the past two weeks, man, y'all have shut me up and y'all yeah. shut a lot of people up with that. Um, y'all have played phenomenal. Go on, Jay. What you got to say? I, I see you leaning into the mic. <laughs> yeah. Listen, listen. Yeah. We'll talk about Oklahoma State soon. Yeah. We'll talk about Oklahoma oh, State soon. Okay. But kind of transitioning into that, do you, what do you feel like allowed y'all to take that next step, like, pers- like for you and the team? I feel like it wasn't a next step because we already knew, like, it was just about executing. Like, mm-hmm. I feel like in the second half, we just had to go out there and just go do it. Like, it's, like we didn't have to talk about it. It's like, all right, we know we know what's going to come, so now it's time to it's time to do it. It's like, it's really about making somebody quit. When you, once mm-hmm. you make them quit, it's, it's over. Like, you can just see it. Like, they they falling and they just flopping on the ground. <laughs> no, they don't, no, don't tell me they flopping. <laughs> Don't tell me we got flopped in football. They, they, they on the ground. They just laying there. You can yeah. see them with their eyes closed. They eyes closed. They don't want to get up. And that's when you know the art, the game over. Yeah. Hey, uh, go. do me a favor. Yeah. Do me a favor. Finish him. Do yeah. me a favor. A- after, after y'all make Washington quit, the first person you see with their eyes closed, I want you to just be like, I know your eyes ain't closed out here. <laughs> Dog, I know your eyes ain't closed out here. I know that ain't what you're doing. Yeah. Uh, no, that, that response gave me the chills, man. Yeah. You're talking about making guys quit. Yeah. Like, I haven't heard that from from a Texas player in a while, yeah. man. And not only hearing it, y'all are backing it up on on tape. Yeah. So yeah. I commend you. Thank you. 
Yeah, I think I think we've seen it from the start, man. This team is different. The the attitudes of people are different. It's about a program. It's about building. I mean, is that does it feel like it to you? Like you're invested in this program. You're invested in the future of this yeah. team this year, next year, all yeah. those pieces. Yeah. Yeah. Well, like, why do you think that is? Is it the family part? Uh, and I feel like Coach Sark has done a great job of just like making everybody tight and just even the coaching staff, everybody just feel like everybody's bought in. So it's like not really anybody that's really trying to say anything different, even if they're not all the way, all the way bought in. It's like they just know not to say nothing and just ride the, just ride the wave. Yeah, yeah. That makes that's sense. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. so to Oak's point, though, we probably had a couple of close ones that shouldn't have been yeah. close. We probably, we didn't close the door all the way on a couple teams. It's safe, right? Yeah. But these last two weeks did exactly that, right? Beat them to sleep, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now that you kind of, you guys found that rhythm. You found that rhythm with a, the talent that's meeting the execution, right? It's meeting the coaching. It's, it's that perfect kind of uh, uh, scenario. Yeah. And now you get this big break. You know, school, when, when does winter break start? It already, I feel like it already started. Yeah, I've been so, out of school since Monday. Okay, that's why. Mm -hmm. So, like, no classes. Yeah. You got workouts, you got film, you got practice, and that's about it. We, you're not seeing nobody for another four weeks, three and a half weeks. Yeah. How does the team come prepared for January 1? I just feel like everybody got to take the right preparation. And then when we come back on that next Monday and we go practice, we got to finish right where we started back and just pick it right back up. We can't be no couple of days where we. A little bit, we got everybody got to pick it right back up and just start from where we started last last Thursday. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Well, you guys, um, how much conversation at locker room the last two weeks when you guys started playing these complete games yeah. and finishing opponents? How much of the conversation was about our shot to play in the college football playoff? How uh, I feel like we try not to really talk about it because, yeah. like, Coach Sark's whole thing is go like week by week. So we kind of tried to avoid it. He tried to he tried to really make sure we didn't really talk about it. And see it, but of course everybody was thinking it, but yeah. you know, so we kind of not try not to talk about it. Yeah, stay on mission. Yeah. Cool. Cool. What do you want your legacy to look like, feel like mm. when Ant is gone from the University of Texas? Um, I just want to be considered a hard worker and just a good person. I feel like everything else will take care of itself. I got another one. Um, speaking of Coach Sark, in your opinion, yeah. what's Coach Sark's best quality? Uh. He's a, he, at first he's a cool person in shoes. He always got some hard shoes. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a big shoe guy, so I noticed that. And I feel mm -hmm. like he knows how to like a rally a team together. He knows how to talk to people. And he's pretty young, so he knows how to right, like the right pe right thing to say to people, mm -hmm. kind of not to talk to people crazy. So I feel like he he knows how to talk to people. That's his best thing. Mm -hmm. He's pretty young. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I know. This gonna start seem young well, because yeah. of the kicks and how L'Oreal always keep him dressed yeah. all clean. Yeah. He, 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 he act young. 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 He act is the Jeezy still in the tape deck? Ooh. Wow. The TM 101. Uh, I, don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't think it is. You don't know. Uh -huh. Oh my so he's God. Like it ain't. Do you know who Jeezy uh, is? Yeah, I know. Okay, cool. Yeah. Just making sure. Just making sure. You know, he thought he was somebody related to Oak. <laughs> <laughs> It's a couple songs. Like Jesus? Yeah. 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 A couple it's a couple songs. No, we, we used to play that tape. The whole the tape. Bottom. Bottom. Well, it ain't no one no more. Oh, yeah. Sorry, guys. It ain't no one no more. We lose the recipes, man. So, hey, it's will never be the same. Uh, well, who, who's the top three for you, your pregame routine? Who's on the playlist? Oh, uh, Young Boy. Hmm. I listen a little bit of uh, r and I listen a little bit of Erica Badu. Okay. 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 Yeah. Okay. And I listen to like Lil Durk. Okay. Oh, yeah. Let me tell you something. I, okay. I, I knew I knew y'all were listening to Young Boy before the game. Y'all yeah. play like it. Y'all yeah. play like like <laughs> y'all play like this is the biggest compliment you'll get. Y'all play like Black Air Force One. Mm. <laughs> that's that's, that's, that's how I mean, that's, you see what they listening to. Man, you ever heard a Young Boy song? <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> it's really like something's off. Something's <laughs> off <laughs> in the best way. That's good. Well, we appreciate you coming in, no Anthony. Like, congrats again on the on the All American season and we're looking forward to uh to january 1st 12 freshman yeah give it up